Come back, I've made a purchase. And well, let's just say, we'll talk more about it here in just a minute. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. Okay, so I made a purchase. Before this last camping trip, I made a purchase. Give you the reasonings behind the purchase. I have a fantastic single burner stove that I can use for my, me, myself, and I. No problem. The problem arises with it that if when Chloe or somebody else goes with me and I may need to call it cook multiple things at one time it's kind of hard to do with one burner now it doesn't mean I'm getting rid of the one burner the one burner is going to stay in the truck and it'll always be my dedicated by myself overlanding slash car camping um, cook stove but I wanted something else I needed a two burner just in case so I stepped out on a big limb fell off and purchase this yep bought one of these it's an Ozark Ozark trails two burner camp stove propane um, the first thing I will say about it is it's very compact I like how compact it is um, a positive to me is it doesn't have a striker Negative some people it doesn't have a striker so you have to use a lighter all the time or a match either one uh, Positive to me it's easy to clean It would be easy to clean. I haven't cleaned it yet Real quick. I'm gonna take you to the camping me and let me say a few words And I'll bring you back. We'll get in here on top of the workbench and show you a few more things and we'll go from there coming from the camping perspective of the Ozark Trails camp stove two burner two burner camp stove so you can see after cooking on it twice we got some discoloration on the gray there which is no big deal uh, I do like that the gray is completely removable so you can clean up the stove greatest of ease um, I will say it scorched the bottom of this pan but this is a thin model thin metal pan it really didn't do much to this one which is no big deal i mean here's what it is guys um if you're looking for a camp stove to get out and camp i'm not gonna say it's a, good, a bad deal at all i'm gonna say it's a decent deal um i'm gonna try something here in a minute if uh, it works i'll bring it back to you and show you Okay, one of the things I was trying to do was remove the valve from the bottom and placing it in the top and storing it in there instead. But what I found, and I'm sorry if this is crashing is loud on the headphones users, what I found was this sticks up too high. There's really no way of turning it. Well, I didn't try that. No, it still sticks up too high, so it doesn't allow the lid to really shut good. You have to force it. I guess it would be okay, but after a while it's going to get, may get deformed or something. I don't know. We can try that for a little while. It's still popped up. So by it being stored on the bottom, um, you see now that doesn't shut doesn't show 100% anyway so I don't know I could leave it up there and it's probably okay I'm, I'm just afraid you know I would lose it or something at some point but this thing just goes from the top of the chuck box onto the table where I'm cooking so it doesn't really go very far so I guess I could leave it in there like that now here's what I got to say it is simple to set up as you see Fold the legs up under it, sits up perfect. Um, 
The other only negative I have for this is the fixed points for the wind shields. Uh, Coleman, they have a thing that inserts on the side so you can get a little bit more width out of their windshields. But it may not be a big deal. Um, let's take for instance, here's a little coffee pot. This is a small one. I don't use this one. Here's an older cast iron skillet that I used to use, but I don't use it anymore. So there's plenty of room on here. Um, I did have the big pot on here the other night with the other cast iron and it fit perfectly fine. Um, the other negative is it's very thin metal. Uh, the pop rivets that hold the lid on, I could see those failing at some point. They also hold the, um, the other things on. What I was getting at with this is $35, $35 for the stove. That's probably one of the cheaper stoves I have seen in a while. I do like that the burner comes completely, I mean the uh, grate comes completely off so you can clean up any mess you may have in here, which is going to happen camping and cooking. But if you're looking for a stove to get out there and get started, and you don't have, I mean, you can get a Coleman for 42 at Walmart, which is not much more than this one. But if you, you know, it takes you all you can to get the 35 up for this, plus you're going to need some fuel. Well, then there goes your $40 and you get, didn't get fuel. But I, I, outside of it being really thin, um, thin metal, it's really thin, compact. It doesn't, I mean, the lid's bending and shit stuff, but I mean, it cooks fine. Now, I will say with any of these stoves, you have to be careful. I always say cook low and slow, um, and you're less likely to burn anything. You did see the discoloration on the pot from where it was cooking this just screws in here on the side so you got to have room for that to go so you can stand your bottle up right beside it um, I will say my if you can, oh yeah you can't see that I will say my single burner doesn't take up as much room but at the same time this is a two burner so I'm getting more out of it um, but I mean, guys, 35 bucks to get you out there and cooking and camping, it's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Like I said, it's not, it's not going to be around during the Holocaust or anything, but it will get you camping for a while. And so you can save up your money to buy those more important things. And then once you want, you know, want to, um, get you a nicer stove or whatever, you know, however you want to do it. That, that's up to you. But if you're on a budget and serious budget and you can't spend any more than 35 bucks on a stove, I, I like it so far. We're going to use it for the next couple camping trips and I may end up selling it and finding something else a little different, a little better. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, so far, I like it. It did what I needed it to do. Let's see if fits another way. No. Anyway you go at it, it's gonna be poking out. That, that's the part that makes, doesn't make any sense. They didn't think that through that situation there. But like I said, maybe it's it's Chinese made. It's you know it's thin. It's flimsy, but it it did what I needed to do. It cooked, boiled water, made coffee with it, that kind of stuff. It fits on top of my tote with no problem. It actually sits down in the lid pretty good, so it's flat and out of the way. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, just thought I'd show it to you. You can form your own opinions from everything I have said. Uh, you can make the decision if you want to spend the 35 to get this and get you out there 
camping or if you want to save up a little more, more money and get the Coleman brand which I haven't had in my hands yet so I don't know what it's like but I have had an old Coleman two burner that that's about yay thick and um, it still worked to this day it still works to this day so maybe check yard sales check Facebook marketplace that kind of stuff just get out there and get to camping guys I appreciate you thank you for watching be prepared see you on the next one